Hey guys, I have another haul for you. Yes, another haul. Um, as you can probably see, maybe or maybe not. Yeah, these are all the ones that um, I have coming in the mail. And I just made another one. But anyway, enough about my addiction. Here we go. Okay, so I'll tackle these ones first because I want to put them away very soon. I went to um, a store near me called Paper Artsy and it has a very small scrapbooking section or craft section down the back and I had like a wall for half price stuff. So the first thing I got for half price was this um, embossing powder. I've just been watching a few videos of what it actually is and I'm pretty keen to try it out sometime soon. But uh, this was half price, so I think that came to like $4. And then I got some Crackle Medium by Horma, Horma, uh, two sip, acid free. I like, I want to try some Crackle paint and see what it um, looks like. I got some coming in the mail, but I thought um, I would try this as well. And this was, I think it was four dollars or something, three dollars fifty or something like that. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cheap, and it's a pretty big bottle. And then what other stuff did I get for half price? I got some more basic grey um, transfer rub-ons. This one is. Oh, I don't know what this one's called, but I thought it was really neat. It has, I don't even know what half this stuff is, but it looked neat anyway. Um, you know, like glasses and geome like geometric things and just patterns and different things like cameras. I think that's a camera. Just little bits and pieces. And that was... Or half seven three fifty about three dollars something so and I got these which were half price so for like a dollar fifty I think it was they came to which is awesome which are um Kaiser scrapbooking rub-ons, they're like the journaling blocks. I'm pretty sure you can actually get these in the stamps as well. So I'm thinking I might pick them up. But I really like these. I think they're awesome. I love these little um and the scribbly sort of doodly. I love that. And I picked up a basic grey luggage tag album. Uh, I don't know how many bits of card stock it has in it. Not oh, card stock, card chipboard rather. Uh, six pages. And that was about seven, six fifty I think it was. So I like it. I think it's nifty. I like um, mini albums to create that. Well, I want it to create a mini album. So, and then for six fifty, I got a white gift tag book, and that has twelve in it. And it says perfect for writing, drawing, gluing, painting, scrapbooking, or scrapping and or stamping. So I really like that. I want to use this soon, I think. It looks awesome. I'm actually considering using this um, as a cover for my Stella and Rose uh, paper bag mini album that I'm planning on making. So, yeah. We'll see. Uh, for embellishments, I got these uh, 50 pack of mini flowers for $2. 
and a 50 pack of uh, sort of medium sort of flowers for three dollars. I love that colour. Oh, it's so vibrant and fresh and delicious. Yeah, three dollars. And I got some American Craft Element buttons, round buttons. I have a lot of buttons, but I just like collecting buttons as well. And these are sort of pinky, oh, cherry. These are cherry coloured. So, I like that. And they were $4 for um, each. And this is dandelion. I know you can't, probably can't pick up the colour very well, but it's really like yellowy sort of colour. Um, oh, I also got, that uh, reminds me, I picked up, oh, sorry, I picked up a, an American Crafts Slick Rider. Because I really want to get like you start journaling a bit more. Sorry about the pause there. I was just reading it. I should have done this beforehand. But anyway. And now for the papers. I really do need to get myself a tripod as well. Uh, the first one I got is basic grey. Oh baby boy. Uh, it's it's a cut off strip. So you kind of we well, can do whatever you want with it. But I thought it'd be neat to cut off as well. Um, that was all these papers were seventy cents, so I thought this was really cute. And they said it was very chew. Choo choo, and it's got like all the trains and stuff. I think it's neat because I think that it looks it would look nice for a little boys. Page or yeah. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And I got two of these very vibrant red pages. And I'm really, really not a red fan. But I don't know, but right lately I've just been really into red. So I thought this would be neato for an um, album I'm planning on doing. Like a red one with the rest of my papers and uh, sticker scraps and stuff. From my earlier projects. So I got two of those for 60 cents. Uh, uh, 70. Sorry. And then I got some just plain sort of, it won't pick up the colour, but it's kind of like a greyish blue. It's quite pretty. And then I got so case of craft scrapbooking paper, photo friendly. I don't know what this range is called. Tudor. And it's got a light, nice brown one. And it's got like a sort of really nice flower one um, this one is I'm pretty sure these are their older ranges Winter Wonderland White Christmas just basic got a few stars and on the back it's kind of like this and then I got two of these ones which are the more colourful ones Christmas Carnival which I think are really cool and I got two because I really want to use the back of it as well and that one's Carol's uh, then I got Obscure by Basic Grey Haze and I just I really like the sort of grungy sort of look to it and then I got a Kaiser Craft paper. I like that I'm going to cut out like the stuff and use this one as borders more so. I don't really like the back of it. That one's called Enchanted Forest. Then I got another Kaiser Craft from the Rewind collection. And I thought this would be really good for like um, brothers and like not brothers but borders, but it's a very manly sort of one in my um, eye. 
And it's got a really lovely back one. I, I, I don't even think the camera will pick it up, but that one's called Playlist. It's just really... Oh, here we go. Can you guys see it? The pattern on it. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I got this Celebrations Ticket Booth one. I think that's what it's called. Ticket Booth Collection. It's just got green solids and this really nifty, sweet, funky sort of um, arrows I think are awesome. And then these, I think my partner wants... Oh, there's this little piece here. That's just an off-cut scrap, I guess, or it, or it might be an old invitation. And these are the Rewind collection as well. I don't really care too much for this one. Which is why I think these are my partner's ones. This one's paws. I do, I know, I like this one. But I like this, a uh, few of the borders of this one. So I might just take a few borders. And he can have the rest of that one. And that one's the same. That's alright. Fast forward. So. Yeah. So that's my haul. My small haul to keep me entertained until then. So thank you guys for watching. Bye. Hey guys, I forgot to add a few things that I also got. Um, I really wanted to make note of this bag. I'm keeping it. It's what my scrapbooking supplies came in. Um, I think it's just like a brand bag, but I really love it. Like, oh, it is so pretty. I just want to like get a hook and put it on the wall or something. It's like colourful and like stains, kind of like, it looks like a massive thing of mist sprays. But it's really pretty. I might cut it up one day or something like that, but I really want to keep it. It's just pretty ass. And then I got this tub to stick some stuff in, I don't know what yet, but it's pretty sturdy. It's also really deep. Um, I was thinking I might put some stuff out of here into the tub. Or maybe keep my alphabet letters or something in here. Something that I really use a lot. Uh, a lot of the time. So yeah. And I got some glossy photo paper from a supermarket because oops <laughs> okay that works um uh, I want to take I want to try it out and see if if the photos come out properly on my in my printer if they actually come out shiny because I got matte paper and it's it, matte paper is nice but I do really I like, like matte paper but I really want to try do some um glossy ones and it's a hundred in there and it was like eleven dollars and then I just went to the shop and picked up a few like die cuts uh, these sort of stuff are really handy to have for swaps as well like anything I don't like I can always put into swaps for other people um, I don't know what this one's called but you can even make cards with them but this is this one's just got like nature stuff on it I mainly bought them for the babushka dolls. And I, I think I've already got some of these, but oh well, if I do, I do, I can, I mean, I mean I, also I can give these to my mum as well. So, um, butterfly die cuts. And then I got this one hopefully make an album for my friend in America who is currently in hospital I don't know whether she's had a baby or not but she's having difficulties but she sent me the um uh box over there a writing box so 
I really want to make her something personal for her baby. And while this is sort of not so much aimed as babies, but just cute little things, I want to make it bright and colourful rather than just so um, black and white or, you know, pink and blue and stuff like that. It's got a lot of colours, a lot of cute little things. <coughs> and I think she'll appreciate it. My five favourite things. I just think it's really cute. So yeah. So that's the little things that I forgot to add in my haul. So thank you for watching. Bye.